All right, hey guys, I'm sure you've all heard about the Utah super secret monolith. It must be from aliens. So silly. So silly. I don't even, I really don't think anybody thought it was from aliens. It just shows how much the media thinks we're just stupid. Um, but my channel has been suspended. So I'm not sure if this is even going to go up on my ch on my normal channel or my backup channel, which my backup channel is Jennifer Veterans for Truth. Please go subscribe there. I'll put a link if I'm able to upload this to my normal channel. I'll put a link to it below. But um, so this stainless thing here <laughs> that just showed up and the media just happened to pick it up. I mean, things are found all the time, yet the media, just all of them, reported about it all at the same time because supposedly it was found by a helicopter, uh, whatever, blah, blah, blah. I find that hard to believe. Uh, I'm going to show y'all where it is on Google Earth. Um, and it's only been there, well, we can't say for sure how long it's been there, but it's been there at least since 2016. It wasn't, so yeah, it, I mean, it was put there in 2016. But it is an interesting place, and I think that they're trying to uh, connect it with the Georgia Guidestones. I don't know, they're always trying to stoke fear. You know how they do. But real quick, let's check this out. This guy and his team, they were like, we're going to find it. <laughs> Like, uh, don't tell me not to find it. So uh, they go. They went out there yesterday and found it. And let's take a close-up look at how non-alien this is. <laughs> I'm going to show you guys basically what this is. It looks like it's uh, stainless steel. And uh, it's roughly 10 feet above the ground here. They got a concrete saw and they cut it into uh, the red rock there. They did a pretty good job. It's a pretty flush cut. Um, and then they took these stainless steel panels and they basically just ripped them together with these inner uh, probably gussets or something. <laughs> the middle of it appears to be hollow. You can see it's got these rivets right here. And then uh, looks like it's probably an you know, eighth inch uh, sheet. And you can see Not alien at all. They had a couple overcuts with the saws. You can see where they cut it. They did a good job. Though. They <laughs> siliconed it all in there. And that's what I find even better. It's siliconed in there. Uh, first of all, this alien nonsense is just that. It's nonsense. Um, nonsense. Um, I, I could go into detail, but I'm just not going to because it's just so silly. Are there things that we don't know about? Well, kind of. There are things that um, we have went through on here, on my channel with y'all, that we've all gone through. And I'm sure many of you have seen, well, probably not, actually, not a lot of videos. Um, you know, since my channel's been demonetized and shadow banned, not a lot is found. But let's go ahead and check this out first, and then maybe we'll go into some... I'm sure you're, if you haven't seen this, you're probably like, what are all these lines about? And so at first I was like, oh, it's right on this line, which is very possibly, um, I can't say for sure what it is, but it is connected to the, um, the Stargate situations that we were finding all over. But it's not on top of it. It is by it. It's near it. But it's not on top of any of these lines. So that doesn't make it of any um, significance to that. These, what we dubbed the Stargate um, Pentagon networks. Um, but it's right here. Let me see. What... <laughs> I didn't even do this per like I wasn't even thinking I put Utah Moab which was totally just on accident but that's where it is it's in Moab which I find highly interesting if you know anything about the Bible and how these elite people try to um, make prophecy come to pass themselves it's it's really quite laughable but that's it this is you uh, Moab Utah in the red um, 
like the red arches or whatever. And so, as you can see, it's right here. And this was taken October 20th, 2016. We go and look right there. 8, 2015. It's gone. It hasn't been there very long, which most of us already realized because as good as stainless steel is, if you've done anything with stainless steel, you have had issues with it to where, you know, even some rust has happened on it. You know, you, you'll get rust at the bottom or whatever uh, from rain and then salt and especially out, out here. Although, you know, I guess it could stay kind of, who cares? It's ridiculous. It's it's no kind of weird technology. It's just, essentially, it's a piece of art. Um, but this was not done by just some random amateur, I don't think. When you back out here, we find some interesting things. Let me see, I have to click on... Is it borders and labels, maybe? The United Nations is right here. United Nations tablet. Isn't that interesting? Isn't that interesting? Right there. So we've got that right there. United Nations. Let's see how far that is. Four miles four miles it's right next to the united nations tablet whatever that is i mean i know that's just the name of it but it means that people have been out here there's pictures people have hiked out here this was not anything of any space origin but as you can see i mean people are always out here there's a road right here um let's let's go ahead and measure that Obviously, it's not an interstate, but what, for hikers and stuff, this is a road. Three miles from a major road. I'm sure there's like side roads and stuff like that, which obviously those guys got there. Um, so it's not far. It, it's not anything. But the, the bigger thing is, what are they trying to say? Because the me mainstream media doesn't just put things out just to do it. Um, and... Let me see. The GPS location is 109.666. <laughs> Coincidentally. Just a coincidence? I think not. I mean, they're just screwing with people. Um, Enter the Stars probably already. It, he's, a, he's going to do a, a video. Um, I dropped him the... The GPS location, not that I found it. I mean, somebody else had found it earlier, and obviously those guys did. But um, he's going to connect this to the Georgia Guidestones. But I just, I do find it interesting that it is so close to this satellite Pentagon network. And for those who don't know what I'm talking about, go ahead and go back to my other videos. I have a uh, playlist that's called. Antarctica, what's really going on in Antarctica and Pentagon Stargate Networks or something like that. And go see all those videos and you'll see, for those who haven't seen it, let's go ahead and look at like our first find. The first find was down here in Brazil and this is just astonishing. It truly was just astonishing. And then we started connecting all of these things um, and creating, I mean, perfect networks connected to Antarctica and other places. So when you, if you just go on Google Earth, this is what you're, you're gonna just see this, which is nothing really. But whenever you go back, you see this perfect, perfect Pentagon that is the same exact size as the inner courtyard of the DC Pentagon. And if you know anything about the Amazon jungle, you know that this is like the most dense. Let me try to take this off. Look at this. Perfect. There's no roads coming here. We have no idea how this was created. 
No idea. Perfect. Same exact size as our Pentagon. And it directly connects to our Pentagon. It directly connects to all these other Pentagons that we found in all these other places. Um, in the Yucatan, in Easter Island, Antarctica, uh, multiple locations in Africa, multiple locations in the Middle East. Just absolutely astonishing uh, what's going on here. Um, I believe that this is a parasite network and I know this might sound really crazy to people but um, it is crazy it's crazy but these things are somehow activating and just popping up like this in these perfect I don't know you you take it for what you you will I'm not gonna go through all of it because it's pretty insane honestly um, but there's something going on in the I would say maybe like this spiritual realm in the physical realm uh, are somehow um, coming together um, so make sure that you keep all your gates protected I'll just say that we all know about the Pentagon in D.C., but I'm not going to go through all that. Um, there's just a lot of very odd things going on. And, you know, back in 2012, when everybody thought the, the world was going to end and whatever, there was something interesting that happened down in Antarctica. Um, an explosion. Oh, we have so many locations down here. Actually, let me show you all something I haven't shown. I don't think I've shown this is pro I think this is one of the craziest vines just because it's so I mean besides for all the pyramids and whatnot that we found down here which is amazing but this thing it, it I just don't understand what it is let's see it's an all-seeing eye that looks just like the back of our dollar bill Isn't that crazy? You still have a dollar. Do you have a dollar? Isn't that crazy? It looks like it was just like lifted right off of that. And then it it, it only shows up in 2011. And then um, then it's gone. It's ice. What's going on down there? A lot of things. <laughs> but I guess since I'm, I'm probably still suspended on my channel, I should probably just not say so much stuff. But what, what is this? Oh, yeah. Back to the monolith. That thing is garbage. Uh, they're just trying to screw with us. Um, I mean, I, I honestly don't think anybody even thought it was like some alien thing. It was just so, so obviously uh, propaganda. And that's another thing. Our media has just straight up turned into North Korea style propaganda. They, they no longer report actual information. They just don't. And those of us that did report, or many people still do, um, you know, we get shadow banned, deleted, uh, just ridiculous stuff. I mean, it is North Korea style. It, it's crazy. Um, but, I don't know. There's so many crazy things. And they, they want to act like that's some type of huge deal. When we... Let's check out this, like, 50-foot skull we found down here. Actually, there's a few of them. Let's check out some. Since we're just sitting around doing nothing, right?
going on? Sorry, it's like uh, locking up on me here. <laughs> Let's look at this one. Oh, this thing is freaking out. Check this out. It, just a giant skull. Just a giant skull. <laughs> oh. And it obviously seems elongated. Oh. 60 foot. But obviously that could um, be distortion. However, it, it's huge. It is huge. It's showing 37, but um, this thing is huge. So anybody that thinks that evolution is legit, it's not. <laughs> don't, don't be silly. <laughs> we were created as humans, not monkeys, not... And see, that I'm not going to go there. But you'd have to go back and say that you, were, you came from Iraq. And not the country Iraq. Iraq, like a rock. <laughs> and some soup formed. And then all of a sudden... Things started creating. <laughs> so, uh, you know that uh, evolution has created so many atheists, and it's just, it's the most nonsensical thing I've ever heard. Check this skull out. This one's absolutely elongated. Look, um, about the same size, 40, 46 foot. It's huge. Um, let me see. Check out another one. Anyway, that just kicked on, clicked on here for some silly monolith. Now you're getting to some good stuff. <laughs> Look, check this one out. Can you see this face? I mean, it's a skull. It's not a face. It's 16 foot. Which I would think that this is possibly quite, uh, this is closer to what it would be. And the other ones are distorted because of, um, like, the mountain ranges and stuff like that. Whenever you take pictures from above. And I think that 16 foot would be uh, more accurate. Although, just think about that. 16 foot ahead. Our heads are, like, one foot, if that. Could you imagine? That's so crazy. Oh, let's check out some dinosaurs, too. Just to kind of put away that silly evolution nonsense. We've got dinosaurs and giant skulls down here at the same time. Dinosaur dragon. No. Dinosaur dragon. How many can we find? <laughs> There's so many. There's so much going on in Antarctica. And they want to create SpaceX and go find something on some other planet when we haven't even explored Antarctica. It's so silly. This one's harder to see. Let's go to the other one. Wait, what's going on here? No, this one should be showing. Oh, let me look at... Let's look at this elasmosaur. This one's really awesome. Check this out. It's a lasmosaur. Just the body is 28 foot. So, let's see. 20, 26 foot. And then we have this from here to the tail. Another 20 foot. So, 46 foot. Right here. Kind of hard to see. It's just random, just random stuff, you know. But, you know, the, the media wouldn't report on something like this. This they just call crazy. 
This is just all crazy, crazy. I want to pour a stupid stainless steel. I find this amazing. Why this looks like our space shuttle program is beyond me. I don't know. Did somebody create this in the ice? Why is all this red and yellow fire going on down here? It's fire. Fire at the bottom of the earth? Hmm. Who knows? What could that possibly be? <laughs> Who knows? I mean, red and yellow all over the place? It's interesting. Just interesting. See this frozen dragon right here? I mean, possibly. It's like, it's like it froze mid, mid fly or something. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I'm sure some of you are like, why did I click on this girl's channel? She is crazy. <laughs> There's so many things. Yeah, just check out my playlist, but let's, let's check out one other thing that just, I mean, I, I don't know how anybody can say that there's not some, or at least there wasn't any, because this completely debunks evolution. It debunks science, uh, or let me say, it debunks scientists because they're obviously lying to us about everything, trying to act like... Um, Antarctica has been frozen for 70 million years or something crazy. Um, it's just honestly crazy. Um, when we're f <clears throat> when we find um, all of these random things, random indeed. Let's see this castle um, that obviously shows signs of life down there. There we go. Now, where did this shadow come from? It's just like a castle. And why'd they scrub this? What's going on here? What is going on here? Something exploded back in 2012. Oh, that's what I was talking about earlier. The uh, random... When, when they thought that the world was going to end. It just happened that this random explosion happened down here. Hmm. Who knows? Who knows indeed? Anyway, tons of stuff that I've shown in a <clears throat> in other videos, so you can look at those. Okay, I know this has gotten long. Anyway, y'all have a wonderful day. Let me see how long this is. 24 minutes. Oh crap, sorry. Um... I've been bored. I've been suspended. I'm on. I'm in Facebook jail. My channel's suspended. Um, it's just out of control. It's out of control, y'all. Um, if you would like to help support my channel, please do. Links will be in the pinned comment and in the description. But um, maybe we'll do a live video. If well, I can't go live. I'm definitely suspended from that. I don't know. It, it's it's a different suspension. It's like I can't add things to playlists. It is the weirdest thing. I don't know what they're doing. But, um... Anyway. Anytime the media is pushing something, you know, it, it's nothing what they... <laughs> so silly. Um... But they do have a bigger plan. There, there's a reason they put this thing here. 
Uh, just like the Georgia Guide snow. I just don't know what it is. But it's absolutely not of any type of alien, off-world type of thing. Sorry, there's a fly in here. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, Enter the Stars right here. He's going to do a breakdown of that. He does. A, he has an amazing channel. If y'all aren't subscribed to him, y'all go sub to his channel. Um, anyway, y'all have a wonderful day. Like, share, and subscribe. Bye, guys.